So guys, once again, very good evening all of you. Welcome back. So just now we have completed IAS 16 property planted equipment. Shall we go to our next standard? Oh, sir, what is the next standard? Next standard is I told you IAS 2. Another basic LKG level accounting. Okay, a small one. So shall we see? In your notes, put the heading. In your notes, put the heading. IAS 2 inventories. IAS2 inventories. Okay, this is where we start, you know, teaching kids accounting like in that uh, Kung Fu Panda in the training first session will be there, no? So he says level zero. Okay, one of my favorite parts of the movie. So he'll say, can we start somewhere at level zero? And then Master Shifu says, there is no level zero. So this is actually, if there is level zero, that is inventory. Nothing will be there. If you know one rule that inventory is to be valued at cost or NRV, whichever is lower, the standard is over. If you know that inventory is to be valued at cost or net realizable value, whichever is lower, standard is over. Okay. So let us see this. It will hardly take any time. IAS2 overview. One, IAS2 inventories contains requirements on how to account for most types of the inventory. Very good. It provides guidance for determining one, cost of inventories for subsequently recognizing as an expense, including any write down to net realizable value. So one is cost of inventory. Second one is write down to net realizable value. It also provides guidance on the cost formulas. What are cost formulas? FIFO, LIFO, weighted average method or specific identification method, all these things are known as cost formulas. Okay, keep one thing in mind, LIFO, L-I-F-O, last in, first out, LIFO cannot be used. As per IAS2, only FIFO can be used or average method can be used, LIFO cannot be used. As per US GAAP, LIFO also can be used, but as per uh, IFRS, LIFO cannot be used. Okay, so scope, put the heading, put the heading, definition. Put the heading definition. Inventories are, right now, inventories are the assets held for sale in ordinary course of business. Inventories are, inventories are, you can write it like this, either ABC you can write or if you are fond of charts, you can prepare a small but beautiful chart here, inventories are. Assets held for sale. Assets held for sale. Are it? Hello, madam. What happened to you? Are the assets held for sale? Three arrow marks down. Put the heading inventory from the three arrow marks down. Left side. Assets held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Underline. So that is your ordinary business. Assets held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Assets held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Ordinary course of business. That is EA. B. Assets in the production process. B, this is A, B, assets in the production process, that means you are producing something, why are you producing something to sell it, why are you producing that, to sell it, so production process for sale in the ordinary course of business, for sale in the ordinary course of business. So, B eventually will become A. What is A? Finished goods. What is B? Work in progress. So, this work in progress or sometimes we call it work in process. So, whether you call it work in progress or work in process, it will become eventually finished good and then you will sell it. Okay, any guess what is C? Our finished goods is over, work in progress is over. Then obviously third one is raw material, no? Right, raw material. See, 
see materials and supplies that are consumed materials and what happened to this why is this behaving so weird materials and supplies that are consumed materials and supplies that are consumed in production what is this these are raw materials so basically you have three categories one is raw material category work in progress finished this is inventory okay scope exclusion what are the excluded things however ias2 excludes certain inventories from its scope ias2 excludes certain inventories from its scope what are they one work in progress arising under construction contract in the bracket they have said ias11 no this ias11 was old old standard now construction contracts is dealt with by ifrs 15 revenue from contracts with customers so previously there were two standards okay 18 and 11 18 is revenue 11 is construction contracts now 18 plus 11 put together they created 15 so ias 11 plus ias 18 is equal to ifrs 15 so now this ias 11 is no more there delete but the reference of old standard number is given you can strike it off and you can write ifrs 15 now then the second one is financial instruments ifrs 9 if you have you know stock of equity shares pavan sir i purchased 100 shares of microsoft that is not inventory no but my intention is to sell them ha huh, that could be different you are buying shares selling shares but still it is not inventory here that has another standard financial instruments then biological assets relating to agricultural activity what are biological assets so one plant is ppe what is that plant plant and missionary wala plant another plant is there what is that tree plant saplings and all these things will be there no that plant that means a tree that is categorized as biological asset in ias 41 if it satisfies certain criteria if it meets certain criteria it is known as biological basically biological asset is nothing but a living tree or living animal biological assets are living trees and living animals answer for that also we have accounting yes welcome to ifrs in traditional accounting in traditional accounting in traditional accounting system like if you are a student from india if you are doing <coughs> chartered accountancy course where you are studying domestic accounting standards you do not know anything about this uh, uh, valuation of uh, this agricultural assets and all but in ifrs it is there now in ca final also it is there so biological assets relating to agricultural activity and agricultural produce at the point of harvesting that also you will not consider ias2 but once it is harvested pavan sir there is a tree which gives one fruit say for example mango before harvesting mango you cannot apply this ias2 for mangoes but once the harvesting is done at the point of harvest also you will not apply ias2 but pavan sir harvesting is done i have packed these mangoes properly and i have stored them in godown that mangoes are intended to be sold either i will clear it to local wholesale market or i am uh, you know selling them in uh, one mobile application e-commerce or i am selling them wholesale to some other guy like uh, reliance fresh kind of people are buying it from me or walmart kind of people are buying from me for their retail sale or i will export it whatever it is sale to whomever you are selling your intention is to selling man once the harvesting is done it becomes inventory before harvesting or at the time of harvesting it is not inventory that is what they say so these are scoped out items what are they construction contracts financial instruments biological assets construction contracts go to ifrs 15 financial instruments go to ifrs 9 biological assets go to ias 41 don't come to ias 2 sorry you understand here i'll give you one very peculiar and very interesting example okay very peculiar and very interesting example right now right now question number
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पैटर्न क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ओके ग्लोकल पार एंड डिस्को ओ माय गॉड पवन सर एक्स जनरेशन एग्जांपल ग्लोकल बार एंड डिस्को ऑपरेट्स चेन ऑफ बार्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री ग्लोकल बार एंड डिस्को ऑपरेट्स चेन ऑफ बार्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री ओके कस्टमर्स कंज्यूम बियर इन द बार बियर स्पेलिंग बी आर और बी एर बी आर हाँ कंज्यूम बियर इन द बार इन ग्लास बॉटल्स एंड टिंस सो इट इज गिवन एज फार एज आई अंडरस्टैंड इन अ ग्लास बॉटल और इन अ टिन कस्टमर कंज्यूम द बियर एंड लीव एम टी बॉटल्स लीव एम टी बॉटल्स इन द बार अदरवाइज वॉट डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक दे टेक दिस बॉटल एंड गो होम दे लीव द बॉटल देर ओनली नो पवन सर वॉट कैंड ऑफ एक्सापल हलो हलो वेट दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल गिवन इन आई एफ आर एस this is not the example i have created okay not the ifrs issued by the international accounting standard board this is given in the textbooks a relevant example a very good example actually so they'll uh, leave the glass bottles so at the end of the day at the end of the day before closing bar before closing bar comma the manager or supervisor collects all the bottles or it could be one server also okay one waiter is doing this manager will not do this obviously but manager is getting it done manager is getting it done so collects all the bottles all the empty bottles and keep them or store them and keep them store them in a godown on regular intervals on regular intervals quotation from scrap dealers on regular intervals quotation from scrap dealers is invited tender and for the highest bidding for the highest bid these bottles will be sold as scrap till they are sold they are stored in safe custody with with accounting records with accounting records to show to show the quantity of bottles in hand whether whether empty bottles whether empty bottles in hand that means in godown not hand means hand in godown whether empty bottles in hand on the reporting day reporting day means balance sheet day on the reporting day constitute inventory in in the books of global incorporation in the books of global incorporation this is the question i am sure you will give correct answer now
तो आंसर बोलिए डू यू थिंक इट इज इन्वेंट्री आई होप यू रिटर्न द एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो Obviously yes. Why? Glass bottles are resources you have control on. You are putting that in lock and key. You are controlling it. So a resource controlled, okay, kept for sale in the ordinary course of business. Kept for sale in the ordinary course of business. Khatam. So it is inventory. So write down answer. Answer. these glass bottles are the resources controlled by the entity write down solution these glass empty glass bottles are the resources are the resources are the resources controlled by the entity which are held for which are held for sale in the ordinary course of business so it is not a one time event in your lifetime okay every week you will sell them so it is ordinary course of business that is regular income for you ordinary course of business kept for sale held for sale in the ordinary course of business therefore it constitutes inventory khatam so this point is over okay then measurement measurement okay simple equation measurement okay inventory is to be valued at lower of cost and nrv okay this is how we write descriptively like equation if you need to understand we write it like this cost or nrv whichever is lower cost or nrv whichever is lower okay so after that write down inventory is equal to cost or nrv whichever is lower from this we discuss certain things why it is not going up why it is not coming here also inventory is equal to cost or nrv whichever is lower okay from that cost put one box around that cost arrow mark down cost put that in one box and arrow mark down okay now read the next para you will understand what it is the standard requires inventories to be measured at lower of cost and net realizable value okay and outlines methods of determining cost what are they one specific identification method two first in first out method and three weighted average method so what are they cost you can use cost formula what is the cost formula normally if goods are not interchangeable if goods are not interchangeable use sim what is sim specific identification method goods are interchangeable then you can follow either fifo or you can follow weighted average method there are so many other methods also but they are not relevant practically okay if you read theory there are so many other methods also like for example standard cost method is there for example standard cost method is there retail method is there 
so normally we don't use them so this is goods are not interchangeable use specific identification method this specific identification method i'll give you one best example this specific identification method i'll give you one example consider a jewelry consider jewelry jewelry okay they have 100 ornaments okay 100 uh, 100 chains necklace or chain or bracelet something some 100 rings are there 100 ornaments are there 100 ornaments are there do you think they'll do average cost do you think they'll do lifo fifo no 100 each and every item you take this is one jewel you can identify specifically you can identify what is this jewel what is this piece this is manufactured in so and so money used so and so grams of uh, or used so and so ounces or you call it used so and so pounds used so and so measurement of gold so you know the cost you know the material cost you know the labor cost you know the overhead cost so you know what is exact the cost of that particular jewelry so what you need to do you know jewel one two three four up to hundred individually you will do the costing individually you will do the costing okay but sir my item is not like that say for example i uh, purchase pens in wholesale and i sell them in retail so some normal pen without this uh, you know barcodes and all normal local pen so i have stock of 100 pens so in these kind of things like you know you purchase bags there is very good uh, business proposition now you know what happens from so many countries people go to dubai people go to thailand people go to singapore where street shopping is famous you go to these countries you call it dubai you call it uh, thailand you call it singapore there are even in india also in delhi sarojini market in mumbai there are so many uh, streets where you have this accessories clothes okay or bags or uh, leather uh, articles fashion uh, items fashion jewelry they call so so many items you can buy wholesale imagine you are going to singapore or you are going to thailand from another country to buy what will be the bulk you buy you buy it in thousands of quantities but they will they might not have this barcodes and you might not be able to identify what is what so on an average you bought these are the situations where you follow fifo weighted average method but to the extent it is identifiable you have to use specific identification method you understand this is called cost so how do you determine cost using cost formula if the products are not interchangeable you can identify each separate separate item then use specific identification method when goods are interchangeable then you can use FIFO or weighted average method this is cost or NRV whichever is lower now so NRV box arrow markdown NRV box arrow markdown okay now net realizable value refers to right now net realizable value refers to the estimated the estimated selling price on sale of such item estimated selling price on sale of such item after considering after considering or deducting after considering or deducting deducting a further processing cost and b estimated cost to sell estimated cost to sell further processing cost and be estimated cost to sell okay i'll give you some questions examples you can write as example or you can write question number one two three like that also examples some relevant examples i'll give you okay cost of cost of cost of 
manufacturing a pen in x incorporation is three dollars cost of manufacturing pen in x incorporation is three dollars cost of manufacturing or it could be purchase cost also cost of manufacture or it could be purchase cost or cost of pen okay this manufacturing includes all the overheads that is a different story so cost of manufacturing a pen in x incorporation is three dollars okay estimated selling price of each pen is is 3.5 dollars is 3.5 dollars okay x limited or x incorporation incurs x incorporation incurs a 4% dealer commission on sales so dealers are selling our products so you need to give sales commission you are you are selling it through agents you understand transportation cost transportation cost to deliver goods to customers in pens it will not be there but just for the sake of example i am giving you transportation cost to deliver goods to customer is 0 0.03 dollars per pen total number of pens in stock on year end total number of pens in stock on year end is 10000 units what is the value of inventory solution I want you to solve this and tell me. I'll give you one minute of time. One minute is also more actually. Within one minute, you can tell the answer. Answer. A. Cost. A cost is equal to three dollars. B net realizable value is equal to estimated selling price three point five zero minus dealer commission you give you need to give on four percent on three point five three point five dollars into four percent that comes to zero point one four minus cost to sell zero point zero three is equal to so take 3.5 minus 0.14 minus 0 0.03 that comes to 3.33 so shall i take higher of the a and b or lower of the a and b lower of uh, uh, a and b lower whichever is lower so so value of inventory is equal to value of each unit is three dollars simple unless it is a loss making product normally cost will be lower than selling price now. unless it is a loss making product so normally inventory will be valued at cost only but in a situation where when you sell the asset finally you will be incurring loss following the prudence and conservatism we are recognizing the loss before only that is cost or nrv whichever is lower Okay, so D quantity quantity ten thousand. Therefore, E inventory in SFP statement of financial position is equal to thirty thousand units, thirty thousand US dollars. That's all. Guys, you understand this? Any doubt? Everybody, please let me know. You understand this?
now question number 2 i will change the question little question number 2 what if the estimated selling price is 3.10 dollars and 4% sales commission and 0 0.03 incidental expenses remain same this is question number 2 what if the estimated selling price is 3.1 now previously i said 3.5 now it is 3.1 only a cost 3 dollars b b net realizable value is equal to 3.10 estimated selling price minus 3.1 into 4% 0 0.124 minus 0 0.03 other incidental cost to sell so take 3.1 dollars minus 0.124 minus 0 0.03 it is coming to 2.95 2.946 i am rounding it off to 2.95 2.946 i am rounding it off to 2.95 see whichever is lower now it is 2.95 so what is value of inventory what is value of inventory is equal to 10000 units quantity into 2.95 that is equal to 10000 into 2.95 you don't need calculator for this but by holding out we have become dumb when machines have become smart now 29500 what is the meaning of this you know you have incurred a cost of thirty thousand dollars to buy or produce this pen three dollars is your cost ten thousand units so ten thousand units into three rupees thirty thousand is the cost when you purchased or when you produced but when you sell finally you will get twenty nine thousand five hundred only when you sell you will get twenty nine five hundred only so even before sale today itself i am booking loss conservatism but if it is a profit don't book if it is a loss book it pawan sir how are we booking loss pawan sir simple simple when you open your p l account to cost incurred to produce inventory 30000 came by closing stock you'll write by closing stock you're writing 29500 only no so obviously 500 is the balancing figure here what is this by net loss Katam. So instead of creating a provision for loss, we are reducing the value of the asset automatically when the credit comes down, profit comes down or loss increases. This is the reason why inventory is carried at cost or NRV whichever is lower. Prudence, conservatism. So this is our question number 1, 2, 3. I do not remember the question numbers. You write because the study material is small. I am expanding it through examples. Okay, now write down another example. Example number 4 or 3, I do not remember. Okay, cost of an item which is 65% complete. What is the meaning of this? This is nothing but work in progress. This is nothing but work in progress. You can call it work in process or work in progress. Anything is same. So, cost of an item which is 65% complete on the balance sheet date is, is $1,000. Cost of an item which is 65% complete is $1,000. Estimated further cost to complete this unit is 350 US dollars. Estimated further cost to complete is 350 US dollars. Okay. After processing, after processing, comma, each unit is sold at 1800 us dollars after processing when it is 100% complete you will be able to sell it at 1800 us dollars sales commission 
or they can give in the exam any other incidental cost also sales commission is 2 percent sales commission is 2 percent what is the value of inventory this is the question tell me solution but but make it fast in a matter of ziffy i need answer for this kind of questions okay snap answer should be there you are not supposed to take lot of time for this very good answer came 1000 superb i really appreciate so a cost 1000 dollars b nrv how nrv is calculated selling price they have given 1800 Minus two percent, one thousand eight hundred into two percent is thirty-six. Minus estimated further cost to complete three fifty. So take one thousand eight hundred minus thirty-six minus three hundred and fifty is one four one four. Whichever is lower is one thousand. That's all. So the previous example I have given is for finished good. This example is for work in progress. That's all. Okay. Next example. One more example I'll give you. Five. Example five or four. I do not know. Numbering you please take care. Okay. One more example I'll give you. A limited purchased. Inventory from B Limited and agreed to pay eight thousand five hundred dollars and agreed to pay eight thousand five hundred dollars. Normal cost of such inventory. fair value on the initial inception is $8000 and due to due to deferred credit period due to deferred credit period a limited agreed to pay $8000 So imagine the normal credit period is two months, but a limited availed credit period. The actual credit period in this example they have taken say for example five months, or you can write eight months, ten months, twelve months, fifteen months, twenty months, whatever. Extended credit period, deferred credit period, extended credit period. So what is the journal entry? Tell me. what is the accounting okay can i write debit inventory 8000 us dollars okay debit finance cost interest cost expense to p and l so this goes to statement of financial position this go to sopl statement of p and l 500 credit supplier b goes to statement of financial position 8500 is this the journal entry this is what you feel it is correct this is my journal entry 1 my journal entry 2 is debit inventory debit inventory 8500 credit supplier b limited or you can write accounts payable also trade payable accounts payable 8500 which journal entry is correct do you think journal entry 1 is correct or journal entry 2 is correct hello you have 5 seconds you do not have lifetime thinking oh my god lkg question it is obviously journal entry 1 is correct finance cost is to be recognized that's all 
I'm happy everybody is giving correct answers today. I don't know. My planetary position is good. I'm lucky enough or your planetary position is good. Your guesses are right. I don't know. Normally in other batches, people used to give variety, variety answers. But here I'm getting correct answers. I'm lucky today. Okay. So journal entry 2 is wrong. Journal entry 1 is correct. Then one very important thing may not be relevant if you are solving any question in the examination but from knowledge point of view very important what is the difference between nrv and fv so my question is are net realizable value and fair value same are net realizable value and fair value same the answer is no. In every standard, whenever you read any IFRS, they use the word, they use the word fair value, fair value, fair value, fair value. Rarely they use the word realizable value, net realizable value. Rarely they use. Okay, so many a times we consider fair values, but here we consider net realizable value. Okay, what is the difference, you know? Even, even, see, they are saying fair value is uh, what you get expenses and all. No, even NRV is not equal to fair value less cost to sell also. If you want to consider cost to sell, FEL, CTS we call fair value less cost to sell. So, even net realizable value is not equal to fair value less cost to sell also. Try to understand, fair value is not entity specific. Fair value is market driven in an arm's length transaction, knowledgeable buyer, knowledgeable seller who has good knowledge about the transaction they are doing with relevant information in hand what would be the price at which the asset will be sold or what would be the amount at which this liability will be settled that is called fair value that is called fair value we have an ifrs for that 13 we'll discuss later net realizable value is entity specific That means, that means if you have, if you have a car, same car whether it is in the books of A limited or same car whether it is in the books of B limited, its fair value will be same. Fair value of this particular car, same car, fair value of same car in the books of A limited, in the books of B limited will be same. But net realizable value will not be same because it is entity driven. Now, because of my marketing skills or negotiation skills or my branding or my connections, because of some, you know, hidden feature, because of some skill, I will be able to sell this at 10,000 US dollars, but you will be able to sell it only at 8,000 US dollars. So, this is my ability. So, this will be net realizable value minus expenses you will do. This will be net realizable value of A limited. This will be net realizable value of B limited. So, NRV is entity specific. Okay, isn't it interesting point? Though not relevant from solving any question in the exam, this is a very relevant point. Okay. So, what is the cost? Simple same thing yesterday we have done you remember cost of purchase incidental expenses same formula here also so one cost of purchase including taxes transportation handling net of trade discounts received okay if there is any tax which is refundable or returnable like how i said in ppe standard the same applies here also you pay returnable tax don't include that exclude you pay any tax or fee which is non-returnable include that then cost of conversion. What is cost of conversion? Manufacturing overheads. It could be fixed manufacturing overheads or variable manufacturing overheads, etc. Then other cost. What is the other cost? Other cost incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and condition. 
for example transportation insurance toll gates octroi charges etc 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 purchase taxes in some cases which are non returnable these are other costs but remember inventory cost should not include never abnormal wastages storage cost administrative overheads unrelated to production put a star mark so there are two types of administrative overheads one is administrative overhead relating to production second one is administrative overhead unrelated to production oh, sir, i have incurred administrative overhead which has connection with production include it in inventory oh, sir, i had incurred some administration overheads that do not have any connection with the production do not include that administrative overhead in inventory expense it off to pnl treat it as period cost treat it as period cost don't treat it as product cost treat it as period cost so in the question in the exam they said administrative overhead in the question they said administrative overhead they have not mentioned whether it is related to production or unrelated to production simply they have given administrative overhead 750 dollars so once or what should i do assume that they are unrelated to production if they are related to production they have to mention if they have not mentioned in the question that they have connection with production you assume that they have no connection with production normally administrative costs have no connection with production in some cases they have then they have to mention selling cost never include it in the cost of inventory for calculation of nrv you will consider this but for calculation of cost you will never consider this that's all okay so we reached the end of uh, the chapter there are certain required disclosures what are they one accounting policy are you following fifo are you following weighted average method that is your you have elected to follow this policy that is your accounting policy you need to disclose that carrying amount generally classified as so inventory in your balance sheet statement of financial position you said inventory two million dollars that two million dollars comprise what is it merchandise is it a you know a finished product or is it work in progress or is it any other material supply or is it any accessory so that you need to mention so carrying amount of inventory in the balance sheet should be classified into merchandise supply material work in progress finished goods etc the classifications depend on what is appropriate for the entity carrying amount of any inventory carried at fair value less cost to sell in some cases you will do this we will do it in uh, another standard don't worry about it carrying amount of any inventory carried at fair value less cost to sell okay sometimes agricultural produce sometimes you know following another accounting standard you can do this then amount of any write down of inventory you have written down inventory cost or nrv whichever is lower no there you have written down or you have reversed the written down of earlier period so either you write down the inventory or you write up the inventory why are you doing that what are the circumstances what is the reason for reversal everything you need to disclose carrying amount of inventory pledged as security for liabilities hypothecation many working capital loans are taken on the basis of hypothecation that you need to mention cost of inventory recognized as expense that means during the year you sold when you sold till today it is asset in your books but when you sold it you need to transfer this asset into expense so what will be the journal entry cost of sales account debit uh, credit is inventory so that is the last point that's all problems and solutions already these problems i have uh, explained in examples cost nrv whichever is lower how to calculate so one and two there are two problems and solutions which already i have told you and then there are mcqs Ta that examples two also if you look at the answer single line answer cost a nrv b whichever is lower c they have written it in one single set you understand then there are 20 multiple choice questions i have given you have to do this but hold on I will compile some problems and I will give assignments for you. You need to do more open-ended questions also. Because if you are doing, uh, you know, FR paper 7, F7, FR at ACCA level, or maybe you are at the intermediate stage, then this is enough for you. But when you go to little advanced level, when you are writing SBR or uh, IFRS, there can be more open-ended questions, more conceptual questions. So I will give you a question bank okay different different simulations different situations i will compile i'll give you and with solution i'll give you you have to solve it if you have any doubt i am anytime there to explain 
okay so with this we are done with this uh, small standard okay isn't it baby standard these kind of standards we call baby standard there are so many baby standards also okay but normally they do not ask this standard in isolation they will include this in a bigger question you understand okay so we are done with ias2 any doubts before we log off